This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So hello everyone, welcome back to another video of our channel. And in this video, we'll be discussing about why you need to stop bug bounty hunting. So it's been around 4 a.m. in the morning and that's a random thought about that you should stop bug bounty hunting. So we are making a completely raw video about it. So let's take a look on it. But before going to the video, we were having the open registrations for Advanced Bug Bounty Batch 4 which I closed now. But if you are still interested in the content and registrations, kindly take a look on all the links in the description. And you can also take a look on the recorded courses. There is a new launch on recorded courses which is Information Disclosure course. It will be a complete recorded course which is completely based on information disclosure, leaks and all the things. So make sure to take a look on all the contents and let's go into the video. So as I said, uh, it is around 4 am in the morning and we are making a very raw video on you need to stop doing bug bounty hunting. So why will I say that? Right, I am just presenting bug bounty hunting stuffs on it, I am providing courses, I am providing multiple things on it. So why will I say that you need to stop doing bug hunting? So there are a few things, right? Look, the thing that I want to say here is not uh, that you should completely avoid bug hunting and all those stuff. Look, that's a good thing. But you need to stop bug, uh, doing bug bounty hunting on the web applications, in my opinion. Because if you take a look on the current timings, right? There are a lot of people posting their uh, bounty screenshots on LinkedIn, Twitter, and you don't know where or where, right? So there is a lot of uh, new people getting into bug bounties, and and I really appreciate that thing, because when there are a lot of new people, yeah, they will find a lot of new things. They will might they might publish CVs and all those things. So that's completely great for the whole community but uh, few of them are not uh, actually the dedicated ones they are just gonna just they just have they just want to have some sort of dollar amount in their paper so it doesn't work like that right so if any of you is watching this video that you can get money from bug bounty so yeah i can totally agree with that but it really requires a lot of things right needs patience practice and you really need to dedicate few months and even a year just for learning the bug bounty it's not like you can only complete the OASP card and yeah, you can jump onto it. There are a lot of things. It's not just about few things. You need to understand the networks. You need to understand the fundamentals of web, web applications. You need to understand how the web works. The front end, back end, web application, load balancers and a lot of things. So it's not very simple that you can just jump into bug bounty and think and yeah, you can just get dollars from the first week. It's just the illusion that you can print money very easily in bug bounty and thing. So if there is someone who is already doing bug bounty hunting, you can share your own experience in the comment section. I hope everyone will see that. So everyone can know, right, that the bug bounty is not that easy when you are doing this. It's full of duplicates, not applicable, informational, right. Sometimes you think that, yeah, that's a command injection. It's a high severity bug, five digit dollar. It's not going to work like that. It might be a P3. A lot of people are having a doubt that I reported X bug and they just gave me a low severity. So. For those, let me tell you one thing, there is a CVSS4, so kindly take a look on to that. That's a different, uh, I can say, method to check the vulnerability, uh, severity and all those stuff. So you can just take a look on how the CVSS 4.0 is working. So make sure you take a look on to that. It's not that simple about it. Now, the new crowd is not about very simple, you know. The new crowd is completely about not dedicated, right? If you just take a look on the hackers from 2016-17, they were completely about hacking. There is no uh, affection of money and all those things. And those who are still at the top, their journey started from just curiosity. Like we have done around 15 episodes of the podcast. You can see that all of them have started the bug bounties not for money, not for any sort of um, rewards. They completely started it for their own passion. So this is the thing that matters at most. After all, if it's not about money, what we can do? Like, how can we do that? We really want to hack something. So hacking is not something like a black screen with green fonts. It's not hacking, right? The main part of the whole bug hunting or whatever you can say that hacking, the main part of all this stuff is completely information gathering, maybe just finding lists and files of files and getting a lot of details about our target. It's not that you can just hack into
or you want to. It's not, it doesn't work like that. So if you are living in some sort of perception about it, kindly get over it. That's a hard word, but yeah, kindly get over it. After all, if you are not patient enough, you are not uh, dedicated to bug hunting. You just want to do it for money. I will say, drop it. Have some vacation for yourself. Find what you want to do. It's not very simple about it. You need to be dedicated. You need to spend time on it. And last but not least, yeah, there is a future if you are only doing bug hunting. We have seen a lot of people who are only doing bug hunting and made a good future in the whole post podcast series, right? I don't have to explain that thing to you at least. So you know that thing. But yeah, it all it requires is dedication, patience, and hard work, spending time. and do it for hacking do it for learning do it for fun don't do it for money or you will end up uh, just getting duplicates right don't do the thing that everyone is doing that's the main thing if everyone is doing the same thing what are you expecting duplicates right so you need to avoid that and rather than this thing the title was uh, we need to stop bug hunting right So from that I meant to say that we need to stop bug hunting on web applications. Come on, web application is not anymore, right? We need to hunt on other things. Like web application is very common. If you just say bug hunting on YouTube, you will get a very frequent result, which is saying X Y Z bug in X Y Z dot com. It doesn't work like that. Web application is being, you know, it's full of crowd. We need to go to Android. We need to go to iOS. We need to go to GitHub source codes. we can even go for the web3 so we can go for this other stuff too and cyber security is not just web pen testing app pen testing there is a lot of things cloud i can just name it you can just go along and it's a very big list if you just take a look on the all the fields of cyber security so make sure you take a look where you want to go i have a lot of people daily on the daily basis just messaging me i want to be a hacker i want to be in Cyber security. What can I do? So there's a lot of things. Just be decisive. What you want to do? Why you want to do? Right. Just clear two things. It's not about what you want to do. You also have to find why you want to do. Because if you know why you have to do some sort of things, if you're having a vision about it that, yeah, I'm gonna do this thing and then I'll go to this and I'll go to this. If you have a vision, you have an end goal. You can go for it. It's not about any specific rewards. So make sure about that. and also if you are going to stop hunting on web applications because the main reason is it's crowded and everyone is going for the same techniques it's completely filled with similar things you need to just get over it to hunt on web applications or you can just shift your particular interest to android or you can hunt on both of them if you are already a web bug hunter or a website tester you can simply jump into android it's it will not be that much complicated for that i'll be sharing the resources and in the upcoming videos that how you can start android bug bounty hunting and all the stuff so make sure you stay tuned with the channel and also as i said we can also go for web3 solidity and ios so for web3 you need to understand the libraries or else solidity so we'll be taking a look on to the solidity web3 smart contracts all those things in the upcoming videos so make sure stay tuned to this playlist and i'll be also launching a big uh, like you know two or three hour video on solidity and all the stuffs so make sure you stay tuned with the video and i think that was the main thing that i want to discuss here and after all just keep in mind why you need to do bug hunting what are the purpose is where you want to be in cyber security cyber security was don't just be focused on some sort of specific domains which are in highlight so make sure all these things and that was for the video thanks for watching have a great day